Hi Libra, welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. And as I was pre-shuffling right before I started uh, filming, guess what card fell out and fell on the floor? Your card, a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so if you have um, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in your chart, this could be for you, okay? So if the message doesn't resonate, remember energies and roles can be reversed. Don't try to make it fit. Just go check out your other placements, okay? Something good is coming. Some good karma too, Libra. Some really good karma. For some of you all, it's different, right? It's maybe a settlement in a court case, uh, maybe a, a favorable outcome, right, in a court case. Um, it could be, you know, money. <laughs> but this is really about love too. So I don't know why um, I just mentioned those things. So obviously they could be, they could apply for somebody here, obviously, if I said that. So, um, but this is a good outcome. Hmm. Something good. Let's see what else is going on here. Maybe new love. Oh, let's see. Your commitment is being tested. Libra, your commitment is being tested here. Oh, what are you? So this is like maybe you pass the test, right? Good karma. So be, you know, be careful. Maybe there's a decision or a choice or something you do or you don't do. Have faith in your dreams. Okay. Have faith in your dreams. Let's see what else here. Hmm. So this is like giving me vibes of like your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn could be dealing with a Capricorn or have Capricorn in your chart. It doesn't matter. This is to me seeming like really new love, um, like good new love, like soulmate, good love, something really good, <clears throat> right? You just have to have the faith, okay? So be positive this week, no negative self-talk, okay? Be careful what you say, be very careful what you say. Know that you deserve, um, better right or you deserve whatever it is that you're asking for basically right in love if you're asking for somebody to be faithful if you're asking for a commitment whatever that that is libra that's okay um it's time to release negativity literally just came out as i was saying that full moon in scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio having a scorpio or, or a capricorn coming your way Emotional and spiritual and practical. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. So you could also have Pisces in your chart. But whatever this is, this is like good karma completing a cycle. So you obviously, to me, you guys are completing cycles in love. <clears throat> you know, good karmic cycles are being completed here. What you've been wanting and asking for in a relationship or from, from someone or from a partner, right? Male or male or female, doesn't matter. I think it's coming in for you. You know, this is really, really, really good energy. Okay. Cool. All right, Libra's got new love. Let's pull some um, romance angel cards. Let's see what's the energy around love for Libra. If you guys need a personal reading, that link is below in the description box. I hope you're doing well um, and you're okay. Just know that I love you and thank you for all your support, your likes, okay, and your subscribes. And even your comments to you guys. I, I like to talk to you guys. Um, I do read the comments, okay? Let's see. What's the energy for Libra? having heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other this is good energy of like new love you you being able to talk to somebody keep an open mind and forgiving and learning getting to know each other i'm not going to take all of these but you're getting to know somebody you get, this is going to be a lot of communication basically back and forth and you feel comfortable with talking to this person too you feel an instant connection, honeymoon. Look at that. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, you're really going to be enjoying. Um, for some of you all, you could have just released your ex, right? Maybe that's some of that negative energy that you need to be careful or mindful of, okay? Just, so just be careful and mindful of that. But I do feel like you are, you know, 
heading towards a love, right? Heading towards something that's really nice. You know, it's a really nice feeling here. A nice and calm energy between you and this person. Chemistry. What did I say? Yeah, that's going to be good chemistry. You're going to have a strong magnetic attraction with this person. Could meet this person somewhere traveling. Oh, it's a soulmate, Libra. Yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> oh, this is so good already. I'm going to pull two more, you guys. Uh-oh. Calling in your soulmate and then engagement is on the bottom. Of, just fell on the floor. Your prayers, affirmations, and visual, visualizations help bring you two together. Look, Libra. I'm happy. I have Libra in my chart. That's that's so funny. So, you know, maybe there's something new coming for me too. So be careful with your negative. Um, Let me pick up this other card. See, engagement fell on the floor. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Like this is somebody who you're, but I'm getting really giddy and excited right now. So this, this could be the feeling that this person gives you. Okay. You want to be with them all the time. You're going to be getting to know each other, spending a lot of time with each other. Okay. When you meet this person, you're, you're going to feel very comfortable with them. Keep an open mind. Maybe there's something different about this person. Maybe this person is from another place. Um, put these over here, right? Maybe they're from like another state or another, really another country, right? They're a different um, ethnicity. You know what I mean, you guys? Something different than you've had before. Let's see. What else do we want to pull? This is cool. Okay, Libra, that was like a really good reading already. <laughs> I guess let's pull some tarot cards and see what's this new love for Libra. Tell us more about this new love coming in for Libra. Ooh, ooh, hit the like button, you guys. I'm excited. Just, and you know what? Affirm that this new love is coming in, right? Go ahead and affirm that. Remember, because, you know, the message at the beginning was basically like, be careful with your negative thoughts. So let's affirm what's coming towards us. How about that? So feel free to do that in the comments, you guys, and support each other to think positive, because that really does help. Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Let's see. What else about the situation in new love for Libra? Queen of Wands. Page of Swords. Hold on. Hmm. This could be you trying to investigate something. Searching for something. Oh, you're searching for the bag? The money? Or the stability in the family? Ten of Pentacles. This is you. Wow. Interesting. One more. Look at this, eight of pentacles and not so money's going to be good for sure, Libra. Okay, let's pull some more cards. Couldn't meet this person at work. Maybe you're looking for a job. This is where you meet them. Queen of Wands energy. It's like passionate, fiery, attractive. But it looks like you're looking for the bag or you're looking for a new job. Okay, some of you. You know, that's not for everybody. There's more pinnacles here. Page of pinnacles. This is good news. Pages are about good news. The hermit. Mm, Virgo energy. That's another searching card. Or looking for something. Nine of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're looking for something. Hmm. It's got you stressed out. Looking for the soulmate had you stressed out? Hmm. One more message for the situation for Libra. Thank you. Oh, looking for this wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. So looking for this per perfect partner or the perfect job, right? The perfect, like the one, the, the one, right? This is, you know, the tower, Scorpio energy here. 
I mean, there was something that ended abruptly here, obviously. The death, the tower card, um, you know, whatever this abrupt ending was, or it could have been like an abrupt realization about something. Ooh, maybe you don't expect meeting this person. Two of Cups is next. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Maybe you guys are meeting a Scorpio. You don't expect it or see it coming. Five of Cups. There's some regret behind this, though. Let's see what this is about. This could be past energy. The Fool in reverse. This shouldn't even be in here in reverse. So that tells me, like, no new beginning. Hmm. That's what the Fool in reverse is. Like a halt, right? No new beginning. So maybe you thought you were going to reconcile with somebody from the past or something, you guys. Everybody's story is going to be different. Two of Swords. With the King of Swords. Maybe something in the past didn't... Um, work out with a king of swords or cancer or you may have a choice you know some sort of choice between a, a, a king of swords and something else let's see um do i need to i feel like <clears throat> Let's see what the Hermit is about. Why is the Hermit here for Libra? Why is the Hermit here? All right. The Sun. Finding your happiness. Finding your happiness and your joy, your peace. Yeah. Finding the light. Moving towards the light. Coming out of the dark or something, you know. Seven of Wands. Maybe releasing control, letting go of something. Uh, maybe it's letting go of control, you guys. It's like surrendering. You know what I mean? Surrendering to spirit. About whatever this is that you really, really want or desire. In your life when it comes to love. For some of you all, it could, again, be a choice between two, but I just see you over here. I don't really see any other male energy here right now. So this is really about you. Um, yeah, let's see. Why is the nine of swords here? There we go. Yeah, a choice. Like I said, two of pentacles. A choice between two of something, right? If it, if it isn't two lovers, it could be between a lover and a job. It's different for everybody, right? It's a, it's a situation where you, it's a difficult choice for you. It's definitely stressing you out and keeping you, you're losing sleep over it. You moving and making a choice to either move away from someone old and go towards your new, um, you know, your new destination, right? Your new adventure. The new adventure is calmer. The new adventure is taking you towards the Nine of Cups. But there is some... See? You know how she's moving towards this wish fulfillment? This self-wish fulfillment at that, too. <clears throat> and money's looking good, Libra. You know? Um, some travel could be involved here, too, for some reason. Um, but I think it's just like you making a decision on moving on and or making a choice between one thing or another, right? Or two people or like a person and a job. Okay. Let's see what else do we want to um, see here. What's this page of pentacles? There's not a page of pentacles. Let's see what this is about. Pages are about messages. A message, a page, Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me pull another card. Let's clarify the page of Pentacles, please. Let's see. It's like, you know, the Ten of Wands is like the warrior card, the person who's not going to give up. Like, you haven't given up on something. This could be something that requires some dedication. I don't know, hard work or you fighting for something but it's almost like you're almost at the finish line you gather your stuff the hangman well 
What are you stuck about? Or what is there a delay about? Page of clarify. Well, look at what just came out. The lovers, Gemini energy, the high priestess, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio energy, and then the queen of cups, Libra. So for some of you, if you are a divine masculine, this could be between a queen of cups and or a and a queen of wands. Okay, if that's, a, if that's not the case and that's not your story, then you are like the empress. You're embodying the Queen of Cups energy and the um, Queen of Wands energy, which tells me you're likely, especially if you're on this energy of Ten of Pentacles and this Eight of Pentacles and moving towards having a self-realization, you know, having overcome some obstacles. You're an emperor or empress energy. I'm pretty sure you are, right? You're moving into that if you're not there yet. So good for you, Libra. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. This is really good energy. This is like Gemini is like the choice between two lovers, right? <laughs> we saw that two of pentacles come out. The high priestess is like about following your intuition, trusting that you're going to make the right choice, right? Trusting you're following your intuition, trusting you're going to make the right choice about this person, you know. Mm. Um, still beautiful energy. There's some conflict though, you might have some people fighting over you, Libra. Okay, <clears throat> like seriously, you know, more than one person is checking you out, you know what I mean? Um, has your attention. Um, okay, where's this Queen of Cups looking at? This, uh, Queen of Cups is looking at this new love offer, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be a younger water sign, could be an age difference, doesn't have to be, but this Queen of Cups is looking at this new new love, this new soulmate, the one that, you know, where all this chemistry is, this person who loves to talk, this person who they feel like super comfortable with, that's who the, the queen of cups, this is you, that's what you're looking at, and you're going to take that offer, you see, he's offering this to her, and she's holding that in her hand, she is taking it, so for you all, a lot of you all, you're going to be um, taking a new love offer, okay, which is cool, the world, the world's at the bottom of the deck. Could have been dealing with a fixed sign, right? But um, the world is like a completed a cycle, like I said. This Ten of Wands energy. Completing some karmic cycle in love, like I said earlier. Like really towards the beginning of the video. Remember, you guys? <clears throat> you completed some cycles and there's something so, so much good coming. And this could involve some travel or long distance. Okay, because the world is here again, you know, the seven, the seven of swords, I mean, I'm sorry, the six of swords, it's sort of like travel to me too, you know, and I feel like that hermit was like on a journey, yeah, completing a cycle after seven of, five of swords, which is like after this, overcoming all these obstacles in love, because this is a love reading, right, more fighting, Five of Wands, so we've got inner mental anguish, stress, you know, and then, you know, um, people in general that you got outside influences is like what the Five of Wands is. And you've been patient, temperance, it's like you've been patient, you definitely have, and you pushed through, you took a rest, you healed a little bit. You know, I could be talking to a divine masculine, a lot of you you guys too. Um, you took a break. And so that healing mode has just got you in a really good space. Okay, good, 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 good. This is great. Let's see what signs you could, could be dealing with or have come in your way, this new person. All right, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Taurus, Another Libra, another air sign, <laughs> and Gemini, okay? So those are the signs you're either dealing with now and or coming towards you, okay? Um, love and light. Namaste, Libra.